Welcome to the Analyzing and Evaluating iPad app in the Classroom video. This is the fourth video in a five video series on the different levels of Bloom's Taxonomy and the different iPad apps that go with them. Like my last video, I'm going to be reviewing these levels of Bloom's Taxonomy and then sharing some suggested analyzing and evaluating apps. Let's get started. Analyzing and evaluating are considered higher order thinking skills where students are engaging in more critical and creative thought. Analyzing involves breaking material into parts and determining how they relate to one another. Students are mentally differentiating, organizing, and distinguishing between concepts. Evaluating involves making judgments, checking, and critiquing. Here are some key words for both levels including comparing, organizing, deconstructing, attributing, outlining, finding, structuring, and integrating, among many more. Some criteria to look for is if the app asks students to check for accuracy, detect inconsistencies, evaluate procedures, critique solutions, and judge techniques, and appraise efficiency. Let's check out some analyzing and evaluating iPad apps to use in the classroom. The first app is called Daily Sentence Editing, and this one is for the third grade. There are other apps depending on the grade level, which is nice because it helps differentiate. The app costs $2.99 and students can edit sentences by drawing or adding editing symbols. The sentences build in difficulty and it's a great way for students to determine what needs to be fixed in a sentence. So this is the daily sentence editing for grade 3 and you can choose different units and you can work on different sentences. I'm going to show you unit 1, sentence 1. And they give you a sentence and you can either drag symbols to make corrections. You can change the font color. And then once you have decided that your corrections are made, you can show the errors. And you can also show the corrections. And as you can see, I did it correctly. And you can go on to the next sentence. So this is just a great way for students to kind of analyze the sentences and evaluate what needs to be changed and what needs to stay the same. The math app I love is called Graphs by Tap to Learn and it's another free one. The students are asked questions on bar graphs, line graphs, and pie charts and the students are required to analyze the graph and evaluate the answer choices. There are two difficulty levels to help differentiate. This is the graphs app and when you get to the main menu you'll notice that there is a section for learn where students can kind of go back and refresh maybe some of the remembering and understanding kind of levels of thinking if they are not sure on some of the concepts. Um, but I want to talk about the different graphing. There's bar graphs, line graphs, and pie charts. And when you click there are different levels, beginners and advanced. And when students are looking at the graph, they have to analyze the information and they have to evaluate the answer choices. So then they make their choice. If they get it correct, it lets you know. Um, and then on the next question, let's say if I got it wrong, it lets you know and it also lets you see the correct answer. So it also, in the corner, keeps track of your progress, which at the end lets you know how well or not so well that you did. For science, I found a fun and free app called BioBots, Undersea Rescue. Students are required to invent a sea creature to help save people who are trapped in an underwater museum. While doing so, students learn about real underwater creatures and how their systems work. They also explore underwater worlds while trying to maintain their robot's food intake, oxygen levels, and navigate through obstacles. Students have to evaluate how their robot is doing and make changes based on the progress. So as I said, the idea behind this app is that you need to build a robot which has animal-like qualities or systems in order to save people who are trapped in an underwater museum. So the students kind of makes choices um, while learning about different animal systems. Um, and after learning about the different kinds of systems that different animals have, they have to make kind of like evaluation on which is the best. Builder. 
because over at Builder, they now need to make those choices and design a robot. So they would put in a bunch of these elements, let's say, into their robot. And once it's done, they're making sure that you need to feed your animal, that you protect it, and that you keep it oxygenated. And then your fish is out on the open water. And as you go, you make choices and you evaluate your choices and you analyze what you need to do. And overall, this is a very higher order thinking game. And it's a really fun thing for kids to do. The last app is a free social studies app, which is a modern day Oregon trail called American Settler. The students have to make choices and analyze their progress in this game. They are constantly evaluating what their next decision should be in this fun game-like simulation. So this is the modern twist on the Oregon Trail, the Oregon Settler. And as you can see, the player has to make choices based on the progress of their game. So as it's loading, it's going to set me up with a character, and then as I play, I'm going to have to decide where I want to go and what I need to do, and there will be times when I'll be asked maybe to save someone or to help someone, and I have to decide if that's the best choice. And then it keeps track of my money, it keeps track of how much supplies I have, my health, and all of these things kind of come into play as you are playing the game. As you can see, the analyzing and evaluating apps require the students to do a little bit more and also require them to do a little bit more critical thinking and that's why they're higher up on the pyramid, which we're getting close to creating, which will be the next video, so stay tuned.